the sons of William the Conqueror. There was once a great king of England who was called William the Conqueror. And he had three sons. One day, King William seems to be thinking of something that made him feel very sad. So the wise men who were about him asked him, "What was the matter?" "I'm thinking," he said, "of what my sons may do after I'm dead. For unless they are wise and strong." They cannot keep the kingdom which I have won for them. Indeed, I am at a loss to know which one of the three ought to be the king when I'm gone. Oh, king," said the wise man. "If you only knew what things you, your sons, admire." Most we might then be able to tell about the kind of men they will be. Perhaps by asking each one of them a few questions, we can find out which one of them will be best fitted to rule in your place. The plan is well worth trying. At least," said the king. "Maybe the boys come before you, and then ask them what you please." The wise men talked with another for a little while, and then agreed that the young princess should be brought in. One at a time, and. That the same questions should be put to each other. The first who came into the room was Robert. He was a tall, well-built lad, and was nicknamed Short Stocking. Fair sir," said one of the men. "It had pleased God that you." Should be a bird. What kind of a bird would you rather be? A hawk, asked Robert. I would rather be a hawk, for no other bird reminds one so much of bird and gallant knight. The next who came was young William, his father's namesake. And Pat, his face was jolly and round, and because he had red hair, he was nicknamed Rufus or the Red. Fair sir," said the wise man. "Answer me these questions. If instead of being a boy, it had pleased." God, that you would be a bird. What kind of a bird would you rather be? An eagle. Answered William. I would rather be an eagle because it is strong and brave. It is feared by all other birds, and is therefore the king of them all. Lately, came the youngest boy. Brother, Henry, with question step and observer, thoughtful look. He had been taught to red and white, and for that reason he was nicknamed Blacklist or the Handsome Scholar. Fair sir," said the wise man. Answer me this question: If instead of being a boy, it had pleased God that you should be a bird, what kind of a bird would you rather be? A starling," said Henry. "I would rather be a 
scouting because it is good mannered and kind and a joy to everyone who sees and it never tries to rob or abuse its neighbor then the wise man talked with another for a while and when they had agreed among themselves they spoke to the king we find said they did your eldest son Robert will be bored and gallant. He will do some great deeds and make a name of himself. But in the end, he will be overcome by his ways and will die in prison. The second son, William, will be as brave and strong as the eagle. But he will be feared and hated for his cruel deed. He will lead a weak life and will die a shameful death. The youngest son, Henry, will be wise and prudent and peaceful. He will go to war only when he is forced to do so by his enemies. He will be loved at home and respected abroad, and he will die in peace after having gained great possessions. Years passed by, and the three boys had grown up to be men. King William lay upon his dead bed, and again he thought of what would become of his sons when he was gone. Then he remembered what the wise man had taught me, and so he declared that Robert should have the land which the held in France, that William should be the king of England, and that Henry should have no land at all, but only a chest of gold. So it happened in the end, very much as the wise man had foretold. Robert, the short stocking, was bored and legless, like the hawk which he so much admired. He lost all the lands that his father had left him, and was at last shut up in prison. Where he was kept until his death, William Rufus was so overbearing and cruel that he was feared and hated by all his people. He lived a wicked life and was killed by one of his own men while hunting in the forest. And Henry, the handsome scholar had not only the chest of gold for his own, but he became by and by the king of England and the ruler of all the lands that his father had had in France.